Hi everyone, thought I'd do a tour of my toy VHS retro game room for 2021. Let's get into it. Boom! Okay, so we'll start off with the VHS section. Been working on this collection for probably five years now. Um, this movie right here, Revenge of the Ninja, started my love for VHS and uh, wanting to find it and watch it again and then started collecting. Obviously, you can see I love the Ninja movies. And then just basically trying to get a lot of the movies that I like um, from the 90s, from the 80s mostly, ones that you can't really find or even ones that are just fun to, f to watch on VHS. Uh, there's something just amazing about watching a VHS and actually seeing previews and, you know, seeing things that uh, we normally take for granted and we, um, we fast forward now. We don't want to see ads, but seeing trailers to, to videos and seeing some of the movies that uh, that are the, you know, the previews to some of these films are so awesome and um, I just love the grittiness of it, the grain and watching these v VHS brings back so many uh, nostalgic memories. It's almost like when you touch the film, you know, there's that, that sense of when you used to hire it or it brings back a memory, which is what I really love, you know, and I, I only get that with, uh, you know, tangible things and and if you if you actually buy something and you grab it it's almost like the memory comes back to you straight away and that's what's amazing about um vhs here's obviously one of my faves predator and uh i love you know like the three dollars seven day hire you know just stuff like that brings back such amazing memories and you won't get them on a streaming service then let's roll over to the figures I have uh, my Stormtrooper Black Series figures here, and all of these are Black Series figures. I've got some Fig Arts figures just here, my Bounty Hunters, uh, some Jedi miscellaneous stuff there, some more Troopers, and a bunch of figures that I still need to open. This section here is a bit uh, empty at the moment. Uh, I'm working on a little bit of a stop motion um, movie, and it's going to come out quite soon. Well, I'm hoping so anyway, but uh, it's a Terminator style stop motion. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of the figures in um, behind me on my, um, on my desk. Here's some Star Wars Lego sets that I really like. And obviously your G1 Transformers. These are all MP Transformers. A couple of Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Lego pieces there and some other Lego stuff. This cabinet here is a bit of a... Work in progress, it's kind of got uh, some stuff I'm trying to get to. I'm actually thinking, do I get rid of that cabinet? 
because uh, I don't really want to just keep filling up with stuff that, you know, I don't want. Starting on the top shelf is my retro Ninja Turtles. And uh, never had any of this stuff when I was a kid, just always wanted it. So got the Technodrome and um, got some cool play sets from the original retro line. Got this amazing sewer play set and just picked up this chopper. And that's the uh, vintage collection uh, Slave 1. Some Lego sets there, they're gonna go. I'm gonna get rid of those. There's a vintage collection Millennium Falcon. It's actually the Legacy Collection. And if we pan over here, I just got this actually as well. This is uh, 8080 from the Legacy Collection as well. And it makes sounds. And of course I've got my Predator skateboard and a couple of mid-school BMX bikes. Right, the computer desk. As I said, this is where some stop motion stuff's ha happening at the moment. Bit of a Terminator scene, got some Warhammer 40k stuff there with a uh, lightsaber on this shelf here. We got some UCS Lego sets and a couple of pirate ships because uh, they're my fave. Probably going to get rid of the Tantive maybe and switch it out with a, with a UCS set. Um, I've still got so much stuff to build and do but uh, yeah, that's the desk that I may get rid of, not 100%. And here is my little retro game area. The TV is not blinking when you look at it with your natural eye, but it blinks on camera. And here's my latest MPC that I've just spent weeks, months refurbishing and I've put new pads in there. Look at this. And updated this jog wheel and updated heaps of stuff on it to get it working it kind of uh, it was a bit busted when it come to me but it's all working now so that's my that's my pride and joy right there my MPC 2000 XL got the SP 404 because it is uh, 404 day a couple of synthesizers there and that's my MPC 1000 another great machine I love that and a Super Nintendo and uh, a few other bits and bobs so that's my room tour. Let me know what you think. It's pretty cool to step in here when all the lights are on. Obviously, it uh, doesn't look like that when I first walk in, but you guys get to see the view of what it looks like when you first walk in the door, and it's all nice. I am wanting to put a chair in here somehow, and I'm not sure if I want the desk anymore. I'm really thinking, do I get rid of the desk and kind of put a chair here um, or maybe even move that down to the center and have some chairs in there. Obviously, I want to put some posters up, but all in all, I'm pretty stoked with the room, pretty happy.